So good morning and welcome to the final day of our road trip. Yesterday after the Glenateve meet we drove down to Allswater and camped there overnight. Beautiful location, just random lay-by but really nice and then this morning we moved along back towards the motorway but stopped at Pooley Bridge for a classic boathouse shot so I'm quite happy with one that I got. There was some, there was a car that went past and the tail lights just lit up. So if that one was any good, I'll put it up now. Right, the plan now is to get back on the motorway we've got about an hour and a half to get to formby for a meet and it starts in about two hours so we should have plenty of time we've just grabbed some food from what's the service killington. station killington service station which is very very good it's got a beautiful view over lakes you could you could do a vlog here so that might be one for <laughs> one day but we've got a few people coming to formby for a meet and then this afternoon we're going to crosby so it should be quite a good day. No, we're going home. No, we're going home. <laughs> Okay, so we've arrived at Formby now. I've already seen a few people from the meetup. They're sat in the cars waiting to see if the rain is gonna stop. I don't think it's due to stop until about 11. But the chap on the gate where we handed in our uh, membership card, he said he here to see the sand sculpture. Apparently they've created a sand sculpture on the beach. I said we weren't, but it might be worth a look. And I think that's why there's so many people here today. I thought the weather might have kept people away and we'd have had a bit more choice of where to park, but there seems to be a lot more staff on than than usual and this little sand sculpture or big sand, scu sand sculpture attraction seems to be doing its job and people are coming out whatever the weather so that's really good i'm hoping that it does clear by 11 o'clock but if it doesn't or if it gets any worse before then the where the squirrels are and where we're going to be heading into there's quite a lot of trees so there should be plenty of cover but it's it's not nice to be back in England because Scotland was phenomenal. However, it's nice to be a little bit closer to home and to see some of the UTOGS Facebook group people and the meetup people that I've met before. So yeah, I'm hoping that the weather doesn't put everyone off and we can still, still capture some good pictures. Right, I might get out of the van and go and see somebody in a minute. Yeah, I better add it. So I've got a couple of shots that I'm really quite happy with. I must have taken a couple of hundred pictures and loads of them are unusable, out of focus. Squirrels half in the frame and half not. But there's a couple that are stellar and I'm really quite happy with. I'll put them up in a minute. But as well as taking pictures, it's been great just to chat. I think there's 10 of us, including including me and Tim. I think there's about 10, about the same number as there were at Glen Ateef meeting yesterday. 
but we've just moved away from the squirrels but I think they've moved with us there's a few just dotted around behind the camera over there as I say I'll bob them pictures up in a minute but I'd like to really encourage you in the new year we're going to be running more of these UTOGs events they're completely free and then they're, they're not workshops really they're just meetups so you can just chat to like-minded people I say they're free there's only parking six pound a car here which goes to the National Trust but usually we try and find free parking places so as I say we will be doing some more in the new year but I think we're gonna get our gear together in a minute and do the transition to Crosby for afternoon and early evening sunset hopefully looking at the sky at the moment we might be on for a good sunset but we'll see but from Formby that's the morning done and I'll pop them pictures up now for you We've got to Crosby Beach and I am very, very low on every single battery. I tried charging them in Scotland in the hotel, but I think over the last few days everything's just got cold and the batteries aren't working very well. So I'm just going to do a quick roundup from here and then probably wrap things up. So we're on Crosby Beach, as I say, there's still nine of us. David Griffiths went home at Formby, which was great, it was really good to meet him. But we're here, everyone's trying to get shots of these statues, the Anthony, Anthony Gormley statues. I'm going to take you down and just have a chat to Mally while he's here. And then I'll run you through the shot that I've been getting. Mally, what are you getting, man? Just, I was just sitting out there doing a long exposure and getting some really milky water, lovely. And a, a silver thread a line of silver on the side of his body it's beautiful and then i've just turned my head and thought i've got my tent stop spin on. you around i've got my tent I'll stop be on, on that way windmills there oh i think hey mr ballam's seen it before me i'll give credit there should we go and see steven steven's shooting at what i've just pointed at what's yeah. the shot looking like steve there we go give it a quick there we go sir Beautiful. So everyone's taking some brilliant shots. It's such a it's a space where you can just capture whatever you want. The, the, the light is really, really harsh, but we might be on for quite a nice sunset. Let's have a look at what Ian's getting. What are you going for, Ian? Just trying to get the... What is that tower? I've no idea. <laughs> that tower and the, ra and the man on that the That bit over there tonight. with the man. I think this man's a bit famous today. We're all getting him. <laughs> just pity the, the uh, our tide's actually gone out before, before I think it, before it went it out pretty quickly I, that, that ruined my shot as well before, yeah right? yeah so as you can see everyone's getting some really unique shots we've got Alan and Neville have ventured through this water as the tide's going out and they're over there Tim Day's all the way down there in the water Lyndon's here taking some cracking shots on his mobile phone I'll just run through it now I'll run through my settings and then I'll run through I'll, I'll pop the shot up at the end as well let me just go into them i think the last shot i took was at f10 iso 100 and i ran it in bulb mode with the 10 stop on for about eight seconds i'm really enjoying the the tie's going out now but it was further in and there's like these tonal lines throughout the shot as you get up to this silhouetted man
I'd like to thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the road trip around Scotland and then back down into England. It's been an experience for me that I will never forget. It's been really exciting and I'm hoping to do another one at some point in the near future, definitely within the next year. I'll be back next week with another vlog. It probably won't be road trip based or quite as epic as the last few vlogs have been, but please do consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Please like this video and I always try to reply to all comments that are received below. I'll link end card links to the rest of the road trip and to Tim's vlogs as well. Please do go and watch those because it's been a bit of a two-man collaboration road trip. But until the next one, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you soon.